Happy Saturday, you guys. I just crushed a workout and it basically crushed me as well. So looks like I'm going to be sitting here for the rest of the day. But while I was sitting here, I was thinking, what can I do to add you guys, add some value to you guys and help you out with something? So I want to go over two tips that I have um, that will sort of elevate your game, not just in the health and wellness side of things, but with everyday life. So I have been doing a morning meditation, which I've talked about in another video. Um, and it's just something that you can implement into your routine. I like to do it in the mornings and it's just a quick five minute thing. Um, but if that's not, if that's not you and you can't see yourself doing that, or it's not important to you, then that's totally fine. But what I would recommend is something that I do directly after, um, the meditation and it's setting some daily intentions. So if you had asked me a year ago, like Lucy, you should set some intentions for the day. I, I actually probably would have laughed and thought that's not for me. That's just way too out there and it's not going to work. But I am changed and I am here to tell you that it actually is crazy the results that I've seen. So for example, this is what mine looks like. It's just three intentions that I set for the day straight after I'm in a clear mind after I've done some meditation. And it really sort of changes, I guess, the framework of your mindset so that you can manifest these things. And I don't know how many of you are big believers in that. I certainly was not, but I can tell you some of the things that I've written down, which are really exciting and some really big things that, you know, I just like to be a big dreamer and be a big believer. And when you start to write things down, it's funny how some things switch and shift um, to bring those to light. So I'll give you some examples. Um, one of the things that I wrote on the 5th of January, um, sorry, three of the things I wrote was ask questions and learn, spend quality time with Kelsey and eat nourishing food. So you guys, this doesn't have to be anything crazy. It's just on that morning. That's what I was feeling was important. That's what I wanted to manifest for the day. And that's what I, that's what I needed to feel fulfilled by the time I went to sleep. And it's not something that you need to even review. Just set the intentions, set them daily and see what happens. There are some really cool, awesome things that have been written in this book that have come to light. And I'm just like so stoked at that. So I really recommend trying it. Get a book, get a pen, put it somewhere that you'll do it and just see what happens. The second thing that I wanted to share with you guys, there's been a lot of talk, especially around New Year's with New Year's resolutions. Um, so here is some goals. Now, I'm not big into New Year's resolutions, um, but I am a big believer in setting specific goals and setting the measuring, um, like the metrics that you need to track if you're going to achieve those goals, how close you are, what you need to pivot to make sure that you are still going in the right direction. Um, so I'll, I'll link to an episode down below here that I talked about um, like setting the goals and what makes instead of just, for example, like I need to lose weight. I've talked about it before, but being specific about like why you want to lose weight or I want to lose 10 pounds so that I can fit into my favorite pair of jeans again. That's way more specific. Um, and so you're going to have a lot more success than just saying, I want to lose weight um, because that's not your motivating factor. That's not going to drive you to, to go that extra level and to really push yourself. But when you get specific and you nail down those things, you're going to remember those long past the time when you actually set the goal. So long story short, I just recommend making something pretty, making something that you can put in a frame and put around your house somewhere that you're always going to see it. And that way you're more inclined to stay on track with those goals. They're sort of, they become part of your subconscious. And again, there is something to writing it down and just like putting it out there to the world and letting things happen. So I recommend that you guys do those two things, implement them into your life. And I cannot wait to see what what happens from those. I'm really excited for you guys. I know that you can do anything that you set your mind to. So just start small. Don't be hard on yourself. Do what you can. And I really look forward to seeing how it goes. I'll talk to you guys soon. See ya.